going on everybody thanks for joining in it's cliff i'm here today gonna do some work on the basic bitch got some exhaust gaskets to do going to fix the clips on the bumpers and i got some tint that i'm gonna be putting on the tail lights today uh What's up, everybody? I made my way here to advance. Went to the one up in Royal Palm Beach last night to get some exhaust gaskets for the basic bitch because they just blew out and they are real bad. But as I'm walking out, I noticed this pretty little thing. I was like, okay. Okay. That don't look too bad. Pretty clean. Some Brembo's cross draw slotted rotors. Pretty clean. Alright, what's going on everybody? I'm back. Uh, so I got the car up on my little makeshift blocks. I know it looks kind of sketch right now that I got the wheel turned on these blocks, but fixing my bumper, the clip broke as you can see. I had it fixed previously, but just you know it's not doing what it's meant to do. It's broke, so I gotta fix it and make it right. But got the car up. I'm gonna clean out these air filters. I'm gonna clean all up under the engine bay and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna get the bumper fixed for the most part. Try and get this side fixed also. And then once the car is cool, I'm gonna do the exhaust gaskets. I got some tint to tint out the tail lights. So I'm gonna get that done. And then she's going to get a bath after that because, as you can see, she is quite dirty. Yuck. So I will be back. All right, so I have my little tab piece ready for the bumper for me to fix the clip. Uh, this is the epoxy I'm going to be using. It's JB Weld Plastic Weld. It's uh, pretty good. I've never had a problem with it before. The stuff I had on there previously was... This right here, the JB Wald Plastic Bonder, which isn't too bad, but you know, it didn't last as long as this usually does. I've used this before in the past and I've never had a problem with it. I love it actually. It's pretty good product. It's easy to use, two part. You just pop the little top off like so. You squirt a little like so. And then you mix it together. And that's about it. And I will be back shortly. Okay, so I got it mixed. I got it put on and clamped in place. So in about, it says five minutes, but I'm going to wait about an hour. Give it extra time to cure and all that good stuff. But she's on there. Now I'm going to... Try and see what I could do about this side, because this is the bad side. It's not good. So, I'm gonna see what we could do. Ah. Alright, so I'm back, and this is what I got going on with the driver's side clip. This is gonna be a fun one was being held down with vinyl before. So I'll give 3M props when it comes to that. This was on for about a month. And it just started to rip last night. So I'm gonna see what I can do about getting this clip fixed. Hopefully I can because right now the 500 for the bumper, then paint and all that, I can't afford right now. So this is where I'm at. Alright guys, so I got the driver's side done, finishing up the passenger side. Driver's side one, meh, kind of bad, not too bad. I don't remember where I just put it or I'd show it to you guys. Here's passenger side. This is the top side of the gasket. I would say that's pretty blown. Bottom side, blown out, and looks like it smacked a couple speed bumps. Because I can see a little bit of yellow in there. It's very faint, but... Had to take the new one and open the holes up a little bit. I'm not done with this side. I kind of fucked it up a little bit. Sorry for the language, but I'm mad at myself for doing it. 
But just got to finish that side and then we'll have these bad boys on, both of them, and then I'll do a startup so you can hear how it sounds. I should have got video of the bad gaskets on, but it is what it is. Putting the new ones on, almost done. Give me a few. We'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm going to do a quick start video with the exhaust gaskets replaced. I'm not doing nothing without this. talk about happy bro it's been too long over a thousand miles since i put these on and they blew from when we put the high flow cats on it's been two thousand miles a thousand miles in they blew i'm at like twenty one hundred thousand right now so i know that didn't sound right twenty one hundred thousand two thousand one hundred or twenty one hundred sorry but yeah gaskets are replaced Bumper's being done. This side's still being held up. I got this side going. I figured I'd do a little bit at a time, see if I can't get it to all go on. And then I'm gonna put vinyl over it to cover up this hideousness that I destroyed my bumper, obviously. This is just, the first slip broke and it went to shit after that and I kinda just stopped caring about it. But soon come new brand bumper. She will be on there soon come my youth. Alright, we're back. Uh, I got the basic bitch to the point of getting the tail lights ready to get the tint done. Exhaust gaskets are done. B clips on the bumpers are fixed. I don't have them bolted down yet, but they are fixed. This side is good. It's holding up pretty well. I put vinyl over it, two layers, just to be safe. Also, to hide, in an attempt to hide what I've done, it, it's vinyl, it shows everything, so. Gonna get to the taillights here. Got a little something extra. I actually believe I hear a certain somebody rolling up. Pretty sure that's him. I know that caught anywhere. Just as filthy, don't worry, no bro. Way. Look on the other, look on the passenger side. It looks like it went muddy. Bro, look at my whole car. It's got a gray film on it. All right, so you hit a mud puddle. <laughs> Mine has a film over it. That's it. That's good, though. All right, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna get ready to get the tail light tent done and get back to it in a little bit. Oh, and this is gonna be going on soon, too. Just not that color. Color will be changed, but give a little bit of. Tell them they should go on my car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're onto the tail lights. Gonna have to remove these covers right here because I'm gonna remove the tail lights to do these. I'm not just gonna do it with it on the car. So I'm gonna have to remove this cover. There's two bolts behind it. Take those out. Pop that off. I'm gonna have to remove this cover here. These just pop out like that 
then you pop this guy out. I'm not going to fight with it right now, but pop this off, pull all the little clips off, and that comes out. And there's about these two screws here, and then one inside there that holds that little light right there in. And we'll get them pulled out, wrapped in tent, and do a little something extra while this guy's recording me. Fucking <laughs> guy. At least he's finally got the damn camera going. He's had it with him, he just wasn't recording nothing. So at least he's finally recording something. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been this guy. some personal things, so I have to But yeah, so part. we're gonna get the, uh... <laughs> get the taillights uh, done, get some tint put on them, and a little extra, and we'll get back to that. All right, so taillights are off. It's really dirty back here. I need to clean it. A little extra wiring for my bumper signals. There's the tail lights. Got those guys off. Got my heat gun ready. I got my tent. Whoop! It's not too dark. I didn't want to do a dark tent. I wanted a light tent. So, I'm gonna get this slapped on and see how it turns out. We'll be back. All right, so I got one section of the tail light done. I figured Right now, I might as well show you the difference in it before I get into it and do them all and put it on the car, and then you wouldn't really be able to see much of a difference. But the lower one is OEM, and the upper one is with the tint on there. And you can even see the difference in the tint with it, the film over it, and without the film. Without the film, it's got that glossy look to it, nice and shiny, looks good. So I'm going to get the rest of them done and put back on the car, and then we'll be back. This guy likes penis. Oh, look, he added stickers. Pikachu! Um, you're going to get in trouble for that. That's what I was thinking about. A couple cups. The whole time I wasn't recording. <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. I think I met you before. See you at the meets all the time. That's probably why. Maybe. Yo, we just talked. We got the whole wrap down and everything that was going down. This is like. Here you go. I don't want to do this again, bro. You have no choice. All right. So. Oh, well, he doesn't have. A, he doesn't have to. He has. You can explain this. I can't explain anything because yeah. this is just a rusty piece of hot garbage on some wide boy wheels, and he thinks it's swag. <laughs> Poppy did your. Yeah. You got a little dildo action <laughs> on the shift column. Beautiful. Do you have any idea how this goes on? This is his diffuser. Like, I'm looking at it, I'm sure that's the middle piece, of course. So. And these go on the edges, but I'm like, like what is that? Like, what, what the fuck are these? That's what hold it up. It goes like that, and you drill. Oh, okay. So you can drill these together. So basically, already. I guess it came pre. I don't know exactly. I'm assuming it goes that way. Okay. So you, I guess we're gonna put it together. So put it up against. You could at least put Mark these it. on, motherfucker. Yeah. See. That's that just nut and bolt, like. Basically, so you put those on the sides. Okay. And that, we mark all those spots where it is in the body. Drill the hole. And then, yeah, then we just put what we did was hold it up against mine and drilled a hole, and then yeah, screwed we it actually, in at the same you time. Have to measure it before you drill the yeah, hole we, we did not do that. You can't just put it up there. And it. We did that, and look how good it came out. No, we didn't. We didn't really measure shit. Yeah, though. we did. We marked where they should be. Where they should be angled. I'm just gonna send it. I send, <laughs> I send everything with this car. Oh, he's just gonna continue it. I mean, it doesn't look bad for what it is. So. Okay. I mean, if you look at this side, that side is uh, higher than the other side. Fuck it. It's is sad. it? Yeah, it is. It sucks. <laughs> He's looking like me in the front. But only the rear. Only the rear. And I'm okay. scraping tired. Mad. Yeah, I forgot to show you that. You guys missed that because I wasn't even recording. All that little... Thank goodness. It's like a perfect amount. All right. What I need to do is take my struts out. You know what? You know, what? you know how you can get rid of all that tire rub? Call it a downforce right here. <laughs> Spacious. And you know, some diffuser stuff. I don't even know what the diffuser is. It just looks saucy, right? Looks Roasted. Like oh. Roasted. Need some new reverse lights, though, then that shit would look clean. Eventually. 
No, I hate these things. They're so. So cool. you plan on getting rid of your exhaust? No. But I know you want it. Fuck, but I want. Excuse my language. What would I want it for? Um, no, I'm saying. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Oh, it's not going to. That's why oh, I said that. You guys got a. Uh, That's why I said that. Got a what? Got something to cut? Oh, it might. Because this is gonna come out here. I think it goes further out, actually. I think it goes, like, right about there. <laughs> Your exhaust. I think I'm gonna. Hey, hit the show right. with the heat gun. What? Hit the show with the heat gun. Right, I can. You guys it. took my power. They took my power. So update, three of the tail lights are done. Number four is sitting right there, the tint's on. But Dude, like I said, shit. there's a little something extra that I'm doing, so I'm not gonna show until it's done. But like I said, three out of four are done. Uh, like we were just saying, my power cord, I'm letting uh, Kirk's buddy, Jason, he's ducked down somewhere over here. He drives this 350 right here, Rocket Bunny, Big Wing, all that shit. There he is. He's cutting fiberglass, so I told him he's gotta go over here. But while he's got my power, I'm going to put the bolts back into the bumper and the fender. Because these are uh, pretty stiff. So, we're going to get that done while waiting for power and then back to the taillights. Alright guys, so taillights are done. So what I did came out like crap I'm not really too happy with it but I'll stick with it for now until I feel like redoing it but I put this black vinyl also over tinting it as well so I'm going to turn down the uh, stuff and you'll see and boom we got Kirk's car Jason's and mom just pulled up in hers all right guys, so the basic bitch is done. She's buttoned up. Brandon had a ride out. He had some things he had to take care of, but <clears throat> just a little preview for what our next video is gonna be. What do we got going on here, Kirk? Get on my face. What? Get on my face. You're me. We're gonna be putting a wood floor into Kirk's Q60. So tune into the next video, see how it looks when it's done. And don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Have a good night. Thanks for joining. See you in the next video.